In today's video, we're going to talk about some tips, tricks, and shortcuts to fill out data faster. Diving into Google Sheets, one of the first things to master is the use of basic formulas. Formulas are the backbone of any spreadsheet, offering you the power to perform calculations, analyze data, and automate tasks. To use formulas, you start with an equal sign followed by the formula name and arguments. For instance, equal sum A1 to A10 will add up all the numbers in cells from A1 to A10. Now, Google Sheets also supports a ton of other formulas like average, count, min, max, and more. And remember, you can always use the FX button near the formulas bar to help with syntax and arguments. Now, Google Sheets formulas are kind of like a magic potion, and no magic potion is complete without ingredients. Now, importing data into Google Sheets is a breeze. Click on File, Import, and select the file from your device, Google Drive, or even by URL. Now, Google Sheets supports several file types, including .xls from Excel, CSV files, text files, and more. You can also import data from one Google Sheet to another using the import range formula. This is quite handy when you're working with multiple Google Sheets and you need to pull data from different sources. Are you ready to up your game? Well, buckle up because we're about to dive into some nifty Google Sheets tricks that will take your spreadsheet craftsmanship to the next level. Now the first tip is fill out Google Sheets with one click using Magical. Magical is a free Chrome extension that can scrape data from your open tabs. And best of all, you can export all of that data straight into a Google Sheet for easy viewing, and it's absolutely free. No more copying and pasting or repetitive busy work. It just works like magic. There's also conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is a powerful feature in Google Sheets that lets you change the format of cells, rows, and columns based on their content. It's an easy way to visually analyze data, highlight trends, and spot outliers. To use conditional formatting, select the cells you want to format, and then click on Format, and then click on Conditional Formatting. You can set the conditions based on cell values, date ranges, or even custom formulas. Once the condition is set, choose the following style you want. You can also freeze rows and columns, and this is super handy. Freezing rows and columns in Google Sheets helps you to keep certain sections visible while you scroll through the rest of your data. It's useful when dealing with a large data set and need to keep track of headers or labels. To freeze a row or column, select View and then Freeze. Choose how many rows or columns you'd like to freeze, or select the option to freeze up the current cell. Next tip is create drop-down lists. Creating a drop-down list in Google Sheets can help you control data entry and make your sheets easier to navigate. Now here's how you can do it. Select the cell where you want the drop-down list. Click on data from the menu bar, then choose data validation. In the criteria field, select list from a range if you wanna use a range of cells for your list, or list of items if you want to manually input the list items. Now enter your range or items and then click save. Now let's move on to another organizational trick, pivot tables. Pivot tables allow you to summarize and analyze large data sets. They're a powerful tool for data analysis and creating one in Google Sheets is a breeze. Here's how to do it. Highlight the data set you want to analyze. Click on the menu bar and choose pivot table. In the new tab that opens, use the right hand side panel to add rows, columns, and values based on how you want to analyze your data. Next up is VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions. VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP are two of the most valuable tools in Google Sheets. They enable you to search vertical and horizontal data respectively and return a value from a specified position. For instance, if you wanna find a specific product's price in a large inventory list, VLOOKUP can be your lifesaver. Similarly, HLOOKUP can help you if you're searching for data across columns. To use VLOOKUP in the cell where you want the result, just type in this formula below and replace the variables with your specific details. Lookup value is the value you're searching for, range is the range of cells in which to search, and index is the column number in the range containing the return value. Is underscore sorted is optional, and if true, it will assume the first column in the range is sorted and return the closest match. To use HLOOKUP, follow similar steps, but replace index with the row number in the range. Now, one of the many perks of using Google Sheets is an array of shortcuts at your fingertips, helping you streamline your work and save you precious time. 
Now let's delve into some of these shortcuts that can turn you into a Google Sheets wizard in no time. The next tip we're gonna talk about is keyboard shortcuts for navigation. Navigating across cells and tabs can be quite the feat. Luckily, Google Sheets has a set of keyboard shortcuts to make the process more efficient. Now here are a few that you might find handy. To move to the beginning of the row, it's just control and arrow left button. To move to the end of a row, it's control and your arrow right button. To switch between open sheets, just hold down control, shift, and the page up or down buttons. Now try these out and you'll be flying across your spreadsheets like a pro. Now next up is keyboard shortcuts for data entry. Data entry can be a tedious process, but these Google Sheets shortcuts can make it a breeze. To fill a cell's range with the currently selected cell's content, just hold down control and then enter. And to start a new line in the same cell, just hold down Alt and enter. And to copy and paste data, Control C and Control V respectively. Now these shortcuts will make your data entry process quicker and less error prone. Now our last tip of the day is keyboard shortcuts for selection. Selecting cells, rows, or columns is a frequent task in Google Sheets. Now to select the entire column, just hold down Control and then Space. To select the entire row, just hold down shift and then space. And to select all cells, just hold down control and the A button. Now, once you start using these selection shortcuts, you'll wonder how you ever managed without them. Google Sheets with its versatility and user-friendly interface is a powerful ally in your arsenal of productivity tools. And with Magical, your sheets will fill themselves out for you. So download Magical today and you can automatically fill out forms or spreadsheets by pulling information over from your open tabs. No more copy and paste. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you got some value out of it. And as always, my name is Jamarco and I will see you in the next video.